<laughs> Y'all go back to the real story. <laughs> 2013, the real people power. <laughs> Fuck you. <coughs> yes, he was just wrestling with his pillow. They didn't see that. I stopped before they saw it. So thanks for bringing it up, asshole. You're welcome. The real people's power free your mind. So, welcome back, yeah. What? <laughs> welcome back, yeah, yeah. I was trying to talk and I totally was good. Good that. job. Jesus. So, since he's a little occupied, we're going to kick things off with, of course, people watching, and then we're going to segue into In the News. So, I am Ernie Mac, and this is People Watching. So, for people watching, <clears throat> let's see, what did I see today? And then you want to slap somebody? What? Jumpers. Oh, yeah! We're sitting here watching Supernatural, and we hear a loud bang. So, of course, the roommates go out to investigate, and I follow because I'm a nosy ass person. And apparently, down the street from us, about a block down the street, there is a drug bust. The house got raided by SWAT. Yeah, SWAT with fucking machine guns and pistols and all armor, armor gear and, and the paddy wagon. All SWAT tech. I was like, oh shit, some blue chips going down down there. I would have been nosier and walked down there, but, you know. In most those types of cases, people end up shooting and and it's that's when it's just best time hit. to stay back. And yeah, that's why I wish I had binoculars. I'd be like, "Ooh, shit, yo, yeah." With the infrared ones too, yeah, so you can see at night <laughs> with the night vision ones. It's funny. People do dumb things. Why do something that dumb that could pretty much fuck up your life? Fuck up your life, fuck up people you live with, fuck up your children. That's, that's why I don't understand people who do drugs. I mean, to each his own, whatever. Smoke what you want, snort what you want, pump what you want in your veins. Whatever, that's your damn body. But if you got other people that you're living with and you're going to sell said stuff... That not only endangers you, but that endangers everyone around you. So you gotta do it in a low key area where you a everyone else in your home is not gonna be uh, a factor. Or instead of worrying about a low key area, how about you not do it at all? Enjoy your own fucking shit. True. So, uh, what else are people watching? Uh, let's see. Actually, today has been a very normal day. Normal day, sadly, to report. Uh, yeah. Other than a couple of annoying, slow-ass drivers that obviously don't understand what a speed limit really is, it's been a normal day. So. I'm so, gonna, so a little bit of people watching. Uh, I wanted to hit on something that happened to me yesterday. Um, so I'm at work, and I get a pallet of bottle caps sent in from the warehouse, right? So I cut it open, right? And what comes tumbling down on me? The fucking file cabinets. Because the warehouse did not stack them properly onto the pallets, so therefore they were loosely stacked. And when I went to go cut the plastic off, then they fell to me. My beef is the people in the warehouses, you may be rushing your jobs and you may, may be having time restraints, whatever it may be. I really don't care. You need to learn how to stack a pallet correctly so other people who receive such pallet, A, doesn't get hurt, B, there's no product loss. Because they love putting heavy shit on type of on top of light shit. Well, um, if you if you remember physics correctly, you always want to make sure lighter items are on the top. Top of heavier, not heavier on top of lighter. Because you're gonna ruin product that way. Dumb. Retarded. Dumb dumb. Dumb dumb. Dumb dumb gum gum. Dumb dumb. <laughs> dumb, dumb. I want gum gum. 
you give me, me give me go go. <laughs> so this has been people watching. I am going to turn it over to Tony D for in the news. In the news, so, you know, right now. Uh, unfortunately, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama are almost head to head in this election, split down the middle. So people, I really don't care who the fuck a president is, but please don't put a fucking Mormon in the White House. Especially a Mormon that has no fucking real values. Come on. What the fuck? You're really going to put a guy who in the office who has no fucking clue what he's doing. A. B. He says, oh, I'm going to fix the economy, but I have to raise the taxes of middle and lower class again to do it. Wow. So, middle and lower class, the people who make the majority of the vote here, you really want him in the office to uh, raise your taxes once again? Good fucking job, dumbasses. Keep him out. I mean, who you you already know who's gonna vote for fucking Mitt Romney? The racists, the homophobes. Uh, let's see. Oh, of course, the rich people because they want to stay rich. They don't want a president who's gonna take their money to give it to the poor people. And of course, people who just don't want Barack Obama, Barack Obama, in office because of who he is. And the fact that apparently they couldn't fix with the asshole before him fucked up. Hmm. It took Bush eight fucking years. Not, oh. The eight years that you fucking retards decided to leave him in there to begin with. To fuck up this entire country. In every way possible. He has caused more death in this country than fucking Reagan. And that's saying something because Reagan was crazy. Reagan was crazy, but he didn't cause a lot of death. Whatever. Okay. You just fucked up my whole point. Thanks. Well, you kind of had the wrong president on the... On the who's, who, then whose name should I toss in there? Bush Sr. Bush Sr.? Yeah. Because not Reagan. Reagan was well, during the Cold War. He didn't even have a war. Well, he fucked up more than his daddy <laughs> did. So he Reagan, fucked up. I was going to say, Reagan didn't even have a war. He had the Cold War, and that was just... Either way, either way, he has caught fine. He has caused more drama in this country than, than Reagan. Nixon. Reagan, Nixon, any of them. Fuck. I'll, I hate, I hate this time of year. I fucking hate it. Cause all you hear, oh, I don't, I don't know who to vote for. Oh, 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 I don't want this person in office, but I'm not gonna vote. I, I, I. Um, but well, how do you think the president's debate is going to go? <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Okay? Who really fucking cares? Do you, any anyone who goes in office, do you really think they're going to really fix what the fuck's wrong with this country? Let me tell you, anybody who goes in the, in the office has always looked after the person who goes in the office. Mm -hmm. Except for a few. JFK. Clinton. Uh, Lincoln. Clinton. I'm getting Clinton. I'm just gonna keep saying Clinton. You got Clinton, JFK, Lincoln. Um, these are the presidents who cared about the country, you know, and its well-being of the country. Mm -hmm. Everybody else and far in between, um, they only care about themselves. And Obama my, has tried, and he still is trying to fix what the fuck Bush has screwed up royally. But you people don't seem to want to see that. It takes time. Time. It takes time to fix all this. Everything. It takes time for one person who has to deal with other assholes to go through what he wants to fix. He has to go through other people so they can vote on it and vote on it and vote on it. And then if something bad happens, even though he's trying to fix it, you want to criticize and ostracize and call up a lynch mob. Am I missing something? So yeah. 
No Mormons. <laughs> no Mormons allowed in the office. All right, everybody. We'll be right back with the topic. Be right back.